Okay, well, MOT time for the Volvo. That's two MOTs this week. Um, it's got a month left on it still, but I'll just get it done now, get it out of the way. So, yeah, off for the MOT now, and uh, I'll let you know how I get on as soon as I'm out. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it's a pass for this one. But yeah, join me back in a second. We another pass um, with defects. Basically, they're saying, well, half the lights are working. So basically, the rear lights have two bulbs in each side, and only one's working. So two bulbs. Um, tailgate open warning light. I knew that was on anyway. I need to put a new tailgate switch on. Uh, both front tires worn close. I think about three, four mil on them. Uh, headlight aim on minimum height, they've adjusted that for me. And then I've got play in a steering rack in a joint, which might be the cause of me slightly light steering. Morning guys, part two for the Volvo. It's literally an easy one today, it's just an oil change. And it uh, looks pretty easy as well, because all where the filter is. Absolutely ideal. If that comes off easier than the Vavara one, I'll be very happy. Um, yeah. Right, all jacked up. Actually, really easy to jack up, to be honest. It's not like the van. Um, I've just noticed I've got an under tray under here for once in my life, so you know, I'll get that whipped off and then uh, get access to the sump. I've bought a new sump plug, so that was easier. Yeah, and I'll just check some components, make sure everything's fine. And then, um, you get cracking with a change, shouldn't be too long. All right, let's go. All right, bolt wise, here's your under tray. We've got a bolt here, bolt here, bolt here. I think you should have one here, but there's not one there. There's one there. And then over here, there's got to be, if there's none at the back here, then, which doesn't look like there is, it'll slide out, I would have thought. All 10 millis then, boys. All 10 millis. Oh, I was wrong. So you take all them ones off that I said, but then right at the back, this is the back. Got one there and one there, and it just sort of falls on you. I should have jacked up a bit more. I've got much room under there doing the, the, the driveway shuffle. So, yeah, let's go and get that sump plug off. All right, just crack the sump plug. It's a 17 mil. And now, It's just draining. Here's the new sump plug that I got. Hopefully, be the right one. Find out now. And I've just got a uh, man oil filter to go on as well. Got to take this engine cover off to get to the uh, filler. So, I'll do that now as well. Okay. All done. So. New sun plug, and then what I've done is I'll just give all this a clean with a bit of degreaser so it looks a bit more presentable. If I'm talking weird, it's because I'm trapped under a car. Looking at all these components CV boots, doesn't see no grease coming out of them, no obvious signs, nothing's moving. <laughs> Oh, looks pretty good to be honest. Okay, engine cover. I'm about to lose that. Engine cover just pulls off dead easy. And then that is a 36mm socket. I just used one of my uh, 
have this uh, oil filter socket set, 36 miller to get that off. So I'll just take that out now, put a rag down there, try and stop the oil coming out, and then uh, yeah, run the home stretch. Yeah, and there we have it. New filter in the new oil ring. Just put a little bit of oil on it, and then yeah, go and get this put in. Get the oil tops up. That's the filter that I got. Yeah, let's go and give it a go. Cool. Just nip that up with the socket. 36 mil. And this is the oil I've gone with. I've never actually used it before. But I've heard good stuff and it's a really good price. So I've got a big one there, it's a five litre. I know what apparently it takes five and a half. I've got five and a half litres for 19 quid. So it's good stuff. How can you moan about that? So yeah, let's get this popped in and then uh, fire it up. Right put the whole five litre one in. I'm gonna let that sit for a bit. I've took it off the jack stands as well now. Um, I'll let that sit for a bit, I'll check the levels. And then I've just got this one to put in, just the par for this. So I've got to go to the shop, so I might take it out and then uh, let it sit for a bit and put this other half in when I get back. All done with the oil change. Um, all drive sweet, just took it out. So that's all complete. And then the next thing you're going to see me do is the navigation screen inside, I'm trying to get that sorted. So, yeah, let's uh, jump in and uh, crack on trying to get this updated. Right, today's Volvo job is I've got no maps on there, so I've bought a map disc. So here's what I've got to do: remove any DVD from the DVD drive. removed turn ignition power off wait minimum of five minutes five minutes have gone ignition on update disc going in that's good isn't it can't be red Let's try again. Cleaning disc. In. What we got? Waiting. Waiting. Oh, cannot be red. Great. I think let's turn off and wait five minutes and try again. Five minutes are starting now. Five minutes over. Right. <sighs> Try again, shall we? Power on. <sighs> Use this disc first. Update disc. And it pull that in. Please wait. That's not annoying at all. Right, so either we've got a duff disc drive in the back or does anyone know anything about these parrot systems? Because, let me try and show you. I don't really know how they work. Right, here we go. If you go to... Settings. Look at the screen. And that was just me switching this to settings. So is this stopping this from working? I'm not too, too bothered about the nav working, it's just nice to work because the screen pops up right in your view and you can't have, there's like no way of having the screen just down. 
otherwise I'd just keep it down all the way. The only other thing I can do is uh, what I'm considering doing is just taking this whole panel out here and just putting a double din in, you know, with CarPlay, everything in it. Um, she's got one, the missus has got one in her bath. Uh, Pioneer unit, a DA130 I think it is. Um, so you can just connect your phone up to that. I just completely remove this. I mean, I'm never going to use that. So, but yeah, if anyone's got any ideas or knows what's causing it, let me know. Um, it's a bit of a shame I couldn't sort it today. But yeah, maybe in the next one. Uh, next video, I'll be doing tie rod ends that I've got to do this week. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, inner tie rods. Because um, the steering uh, is a little bit loose, a little bit vague, and not much feel to it. Um, I've still got to fix the, I mean it's showing open because it's open now, but I have got to fix that tailgate switch as well because that always shows open, even when it's shut, so yeah, alright, cheers guys, see you in the next one.